Hey, YouTube. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. It's been absolutely great with all the feedback that you guys have been giving us. So we're going to try and mix it up a little bit today. We're going to try and include um, some of the, the conversation between me and the patient, um, as well as a voiceover. And the reason we're doing that is, is one, because some people love the voiceover, some people like the conversation between the patient, but also because um, in, in this conversation there was some confidential information that we had to kind of bleep out. You might notice a couple bleeps here and there, and again, that's just kind of bleeping out um, information that, that we might find sensitive to the patients. So bear with us as we kind of go through this and test out this uh, new attempt for the video. So for this patient, what you can see is kind of the, the psoriatic plaque that I'm working on right now. And you can see me doing that on the left foot there. Um, so you can see I'm not being overly aggressive. And the reason being is due to the psoriatic plaque. Um, and I'll kind of explain that in a little bit. So, it's like that for Christmas. Everyone wants to get in before the end of the year. Oh. So so again, kind of what we're doing is um, it, we're just being kind of superficial because what happens with psor psoriasis or psoriatic plaque is, is the skin turns over way faster than it should. Um, so normally skin turns over kind of every 28 days um, with psoriasis, you know, it, it can be anywhere from like 10 to 14 days or, or more or that can be a little bit longer. But we, what happens is that the skin's kind of not as differentiated, um, meaning that the, the skin kind of isn't as healthy. So if you do um, pull off that tissue, what can happen, or if you go a little deep and you start pulling the callus, you can create um, a little bit of a bleeding point. Um, and this is actually known as the auspit sign, so that's A-U-S-P-I-T-Z-S, um, which basically states that if you kind of pull psoriatic plaque or scaling, um, you will create like little punctate bleeding points. And so you'll actually see me do that on the, the right foot on the hallux there, um, or the big toe. So unfortunately, it does happen every once in a while. Because he started work with me. Wait, how long is that now? October sixth. You remember the exact day? Yeah, because I was talking to my dad yesterday. Oh, I had to look up. Okay, so um, Eric's uh, actually the, the one filming today for this video. So this was his, his video debut. So so please be kind in the comments. Don't be don't be mean to Eric because he I think he did a great job. Um, but again, it was his first time and and um, well, so that's, it, that's, it was fun to for him to talk to the patient. Well, because it, it's the plaque you have right here, right? Mm -hmm. So one thing about the psoriatic plaque is, well, you know, it's very easy to bleed, right? So that's kind of why we're just gently taking that's off right. your surgery. Right there. And then really you have to control the, the psoriasis. Well, I'm going to use the money that I have to pay the day for my income tax. Someone's knocking on your door. That was the other door. Oh, the other door. Okay, so there you can kind of see on that right big toe, um, that little bleeding point that I did create. So again, if your blade kind of catches and pulls, it will create that. So what are you expecting from your parents for Christmas? Or have you been told yet? I want to try. You, want to, you know what? I just thought the same thing. I bet he would like to try. Boys, we have three boys. So I know. Every boy wants to try. Every boy wants to Unrealistic though, the socks and underwear would be good enough for me. Yeah. <laughs> so how old are you? How old are you? I'm 21. 21? You look 17. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing, Eric. You look younger. Younger is good. Younger is better. Yeah. Wait, should I put cream on my feet? Or what yes, twice a day. You yeah. moisturize them, yeah. You moisturize them, okay. Let's start with that for now, and if it's not, then we'll, we'll then we'll look into something that's stronger. Really stronger, exactly. Well, usually I use the push pile to do my nails. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, I like 
So you can see again that what I'm doing is I'm, I'm just kind of gently dividing that psoriatic plaque and just loosely taking out the superficial tissue so that you're not pulling too much. And again, see there, you can see with the template, but I'm just gently, gently dividing that, that callus. And then what I'll do is, is so here with the, the um, nippers is I'll use those so that I'm not actually pulling the psoriatic plaque, but instead kind of cutting it. The, the more you kind of cut that superficial or, or the, the callus, the less you're likely to pull the, the skin off and create that bleeding point or that osphate sign. Now, so with psoriasis or with psoriatic plaque, there, there's many different types of treatment. Um, so one of the, the treatments kind of, of choice, you know, would be to start with like a, a cortisone cream um, topically. Um, this condition in this case is, is actually has been referred to a dermatologist um, and what they the, the patient comes to me um, for kind of just regular callus care so the, the dermatologist is actually working on this in this case so we've kind of got the go ahead to, to keep the callus at bay um, while they try different things um, to make sure that the, the callus kind of stays at bay and then hopefully trying to get it resolved um, it has had it actually has gotten quite better over the past couple of months, um, but we want to kind of continue with it and, and keep going. One of those th um, therapies is also kind of UV therapy, um, so using light therapy to help with the psoriasis, or there are oral medications that patients can take um, that will help to get rid of the callusing tissue. I got the liquor store yesterday for my Christmas booze. Yeah. I only go there once a year. Yeah. I can't believe how many Kinds of beers there are. Yeah, well, it's gotten really like craft beer's gotten really yeah. popular, right? But all the imported beer, like, I know, you it's know. amazing. But it, I think they finally realized that, like, you can, you know, how, like they do wine pairings and different things like that. Now, it's, I think they're becoming more popular to do pairings with beer as well, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So people are. Well, my son, when we were there for dinner yesterday, he had pear cider. I don't like something, but it didn't taste bad, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so as you can see there, we've kind of taken everything down with the, the Tem blade. Um, so what we want to do now is we're kind of working on the nails. Now, all of these nails have been damaged. Um, so we're just kind of going through and cleaning all of them up kind of one by one. And again, that's something that you'd want to control. One, unfortunately, with the psoriasis that happens, as well as um, it more likely to have the fungal infection. You know, she's got the year off. Mm -hmm. Take care of Fletcher. Yeah. New baby. New baby, yeah. yeah. Seven months. Seven months, yeah. yeah. And so here you can see I'm working on that big toe. Um, and you can see how thick that nail has gotten and then the, the fungus kind of underneath. So the fungus, what it does is, it, is it's a dermatophyte, meaning that it eats kind of underneath the nail and it eats away at the, the skin or kind of feeds off the skin. It would be kind of a better term. Um, so I'm kind of getting in there using kind of the, the tip of my um, nippers and getting in there to kind of get as much as that lifted nail off as possible. That nail's thick. I know. I think uh, that one is too, right? Oh, yeah. Wow. I heard that. Yeah. yeah. As long as you didn't peel it. Yeah, that's, that's the other way. one. So there you can see where I just kind of mentioned that and there is that like darker 
color yeah. and tissue, that's fine. Yes, yeah, just make sure, you know, well, the dermatologist knows, and so that's what they're working on, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's kind of why. Well, well you've seen them tomorrow, right? Yep. Perfect. So what is it? What do I want to tell them? Uh, just, you can just show them the nails, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, they figure it's on Okay, so one of the, the main reasons why um, the nails have gotten so thick is just due to um, the psoriasis and the fungus. So it's kind of unfortunate that the, um, for this patient that they're experiencing both. So the, the nails obviously become damaged from the psoriasis. Um, and then the fungus is more likely to, to attack a nail that's already damaged or, or um, infect a nail would be a better term to use. Um, so you can see there that that's kind of what's happened. Um, and then there, there's obviously slightly a little bit of, of um, you know, lack of, of care and, and not proper use to adherence of, of medication and, and kind of treatment there. Um, so that unfortunately, um, the nails sometimes become a little bit worse with time. <laughs> Here, I'm just kind of debriding that nail, um, using the burr as much as I can to, to thin out that nail, make it nice and smooth, um, so there's not so much pressure on the nail bed, creating pain for the patient, and then it's not putting pressure on kind of the surrounding tissue by having that thick nail. Sometimes when you have the thicker nails and you put them in a suit, it causes pain. So again, what you're seeing is I'm using the nipper to kind of get some more of that loose nail um, because what happens is with the burr is sometimes you can actually, it becomes more visible. Again, here you can see what I'm doing with the burr is just kind of quickly moving it across the, the, the big toe. Um, again, you can see that that bleeding point that I created on the right big toe isn't quite that big, although, the, you know, it happens with psoriasis. Yeah. Yeah. Especially on the switchboard, it's a real fun place. Oh, I'm sure. Is Katie still here? Katie's still here, yeah.
And so here you can see I'm trying to move that, the, the drill as fast as I can. Don't want the tissue heating up too much, so I'm kind of moving back and forth. Yeah. So this lovely patient was asking about our YouTube channel, so I um, don't know if he'll, he'll actually check it out. But um, again, we appreciate everyone watching the videos that we've been posting. If there's anything that you guys want to see, make sure to mention it in the comments, ask questions, and we'll get to them. So again, so now you can see that we've gone from the, the burr to the moor's disc. So you can see kind of how much that left foot has already started to improve. Um, so what this has done, um, so we've kind of got almost all that superficial, superficial hyperkeratosis off or that superficial callus off. Um, and then you'll kind of see when I actually put alcohol on this, on this foot that it's almost completely resolved. So um, what it does is, again is, is it's just going to feel so much more comfortable for the patient, less likely to catch and, and kind of pull off. And then hopefully um, when they use some of the topical treatment, it will also make that, that topical treatment much more effective. So there you can see kind of, I've just worked through the, the whole left foot there. Um, and then we'll, we'll jump to the right. You're going to be 10 pounds lighter. And so here you can see kind of we blew through the, the moors this, so I have to get a new one. So again, you'll notice on the, the right foot here, we can't take off as much callus just simply because there is more of that psoriatic plaque. Um, but what we were trying to do as much as we can. Here when you're watching TV, there are so many Christmas shows. Yeah. I'm just yearning for a good cop and Robert Kelly. Yeah. There's a lot on lot Christmas stuff everywhere now, right? Yeah. Oh, more than ever. They're all right, but you watch one that's enough. Yeah. Yeah, they love them, right? Oh, my bones is on everything. Yeah. Our kids watch them. Yeah. We have three boys. Yeah. yeah.
Okay, so there you can see that we've kind of we've kind of finished that right foot. So it, again, it looks a lot better. You can still see that there is some underlying callus. We can't take all of that callus off, or again, we create too many bleeding points. So that bleeding point that we've created on the right foot, we would dress with an antibiotic ointment and a sterile Band-Aid. Um, and again, so here you can see that I'm putting the alcohol um, on the left foot, and you can see almost how, how good that it, it looks. It, you know, not quite a... a, a a new foot but but much healthier than it did before um so you can see that all that superficial callus is off and then again you'll see me kind of move to the right foot we've got a lot of that tissue off um i always like to joke with the patients say that they'll, they'll feel about 10 pounds lighter um but you can see that there, there's just that that minor kind of cracking and, and with the use of potentially topical um corticosteroids or topical creams uh, light therapy or, or even oral medication, you can get that foot looking a lot, lot better. Um, in, in the case of, of this patient, it would be um, seeing with the, the dermatologist and using that dermatologist as treatment.